Welcome back to Taf Salon. Right, we are around mid-March now. And as you know, Mr. Njaya, MD, he's flying all over Africa. He's in Gambia, he's in Nigeria, and of course, he's also in Sierra Leone. He's back in Sierra Leone this morning, and I wasn't gonna let him catch me off guard. So I'm here, bright and early. I've spoken to the technical team. Everything wanted by Mr. Njaya has been logged in my little iPad, and we've been getting on with the work because he's very hands-on, and when he says he wants something done, it must be done. So, surprise Uncle Taf, you're gonna find me on site today, and I've done everything that you asked, and you're gonna be amazed at the progress. So sit back and enjoy with Mr. Njai as he gets the first-hand progress of Taf Salon Micro City. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, just, just just flown in from, from Banjul, huh? How was your flight? On the early morning. Oh, welcome uh, back. Early morning air <laughs> sky flight, huh? It looks so, fresh. Oh, no yeah. jet lag. Yeah, no jet lag, no jet lag. But it's great. Wow. You know me, I will not go to sleep or, you know, catch up on the sleep at this time. Or I wouldn't even go to the office. I knew you were straight here. Yeah, yeah, I have to. I have to. <laughs> I have to. So, so, wow. This is a great job, huh? Yeah. Just as an oversight, it seems as if you've really met your target, huh? Well, everything you say we have to do, the technical team, we're all hands on deck. We have to get it. Lovely, it's huh? Done. <laughs> it's done, huh? And all the curves are all, all in place, huh? In. Mm -hmm. Nice curvatures, you know, at the bell mouth. They've done the bell mouth really nice. And even put the top soil in ready for the landscape, That's huh? Right. Getting ready for the rain yeah. season. Yeah. So, so you see, this is where this is where the pedestrian um uh, a walkway will be like a zebra crossing. That's right. That's why we've left this island as it is. It's really nice, huh? And I love the signages, huh? So as you come in, coming, that's where we're coming from, Freetown. So you see, there's a signage here on both on these chamfered walls, huh? Yes. And then you've got the main one in the middle. That's right. Really nice. You know, one thing I love about about Sierra Leone, it's the landscape. I mean, just look at what, what do you see here, huh? I know. All green, and this is like in the middle of the dry season, huh? Mm -hmm. Lovely, all tied it up now. So, so in here, we're going to now put the, the sand bedding, uh, the stone base, the sand bedding, and then put the, the interlocking blocks. That's right. This will come later. But this is lovely, huh? So I'm going to be taking notes today. I mean, you're obviously going to be giving the progress video, the update to our audience. So it's been a while since we did a progress video. So it's perfect timing for one. So what we'll do today, as you go around and see the progress yourself, you can also explain to them what we've been doing. And I'll be taking notes because I'm sure you have more milestones for us to achieve. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The work never stops. Well, yes. let's go. I'm ready yes. for it. So first, a point of appreciation. I mean, as we see here, I mean, that's the signage here. All this will be lit up. And then, you know, we have the logo that stands out here. We have the logo, that's why it's, the space is left here. Mm -hmm. And then all is going to be landscaped. And, and then the walls, as one can see, this needs to be tiling. Yes. You know, we put a tiling on it. Mm -hmm. You know, all the coping has been done, neatly done. Really beautiful, lovely, huh? So here you're going to have two lanes. These are the two entrance lanes, that's huh? Right. You have two lanes here coming in. And then you have two lanes here going out. Mm -hmm. That's the exit. So as one drives here, you have the um, the gatehouse in front. Yes. So 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 that. what happens is the reason why you set the gatehouse back here is that if you have quite a number of cars coming in, there will not be any 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 traffic jam mm -hmm. on the main highway. That's right. So you have two lanes of cars lining and coming in. You know. So so that is important. You don't put the entrance right by the by by the by the highway because as time goes on. This will be very busy, this road here. Mm -hmm. And it can be even dualized. That's right. So that's why we have a freeway. We've left the freeway about 40 meters from the road. So in the event that the government wants to expand the road, that has already been taken care of. That's the whole point of a master plan. A yes, yes. Planning. Excellent master planning. Mm -hmm. So you see at this point here, you can see that's where the gatehouse starts. That's right. So you, you should now have from this point to there, the gatehouse. And in the gatehouse here, you're going to have another, another island. But remember, you're going to have a, a boom, you know, uh, for the uh, visitors and also for residents. Just like what you showed in Gambia. In Gambia, yes. Just like what we did in Gambia. So at this point here, you have a small island here with curbs. And then you will have now there for visitors who will just come and swipe and off they go. Then the visitors will come through here, cleared by the security. 
and allowed to go in. So in case now they want to turn back, that's why we've got, we've got this turning point. So they will just drive in and then turn back and go out. So now the moment you pass the, the um, uh, gatehouse here, now everything here is for the residents or visitors who has been cleared already. And you can see how the islands have been designed. So all this really, I think it will be nice by the time the rain starts, yes. that we plant all the trees, the greenery. So if you come back here next year, you should be able to see all this nice and well green. So let me just stop you right here. Just take a quick look. Did we get everything on point how you wanted it? Perfect, perfect. Yeah. I think you deserve a bonus, huh? Oh. Or a pay rise. You hear that? <laughs> <laughs> now this end here, you know, this is this is where the second phase would be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there you see on the roundabout, you have this will go is going to be paved, and there up there will be go, going to be landscaped. Now I love the way the trees are. You can see all these trees have been saved. Yeah. We didn't cut them out. And now we're going to grow more trees. Actually, the trees that we grow in general, these days, it's about 10 trees to a, a household. So for example, here, as we're going to build about 1,250, it means that you're going to have 12,000 trees here. So you can imagine, apart from these trees that we saved, we're going to plant another 12,000 trees. So let me ask you, we've done our research, you told us to go and get the different palm trees, the royal trees, we've got all those prices ready for you. Will you be bringing us some seeds from Nigeria? Oh yeah, yeah. you know in Nigeria, in the, in the Niger Delta, I mean, we, we get these palm trees, the royal palm they yes. call it, with the big nice. trunk. Okay. Nice ones, like the ones we took to Gambia. That's right. So the same thing, I mean, they're preparing all the seeds, before the rain starts, it will come in here. Oh, so that's a little bit yeah. from Nigeria. You know, let, you know, one thing, let me tell you, I mean, every country has this big advantage. And what I've seen here in Sierra Leone, I haven't seen it in any of the countries that I operate. In Sierra Leone, basically, they do concrete blocks. Look at these blocks. This is four inches, but this is very, this is very unique of Sierra Leone. You see the holes, the way they are? So the blocks are very solid. So, and this is solid concrete. You see, every country has its own strength and its own weaknesses, or its own advantages and its own disadvantages. So the big advantage I've seen in Sierra Leone is that the block work is all concrete because they, you know, the um, uh, stones and the stone dust, it's very affordable. So, I mean, structurally, when you build here, it's solid. I knew you were going to do Look that. Look at this. He always Look at does that. it. Look at this. I mean, <laughs> if you were to do this on a sand creed block, a block that was only made out of sand and cement, there's yeah. no way it will break. Yeah. You know, but look at this, huh? There you go. Look, look. Wow. It won't break. Wow. It's a solid concrete block. So I really want to compliment um, uh, uh, Sierra Leoneans for building this good. I, I take it on board as a salon titi. Because I'm a salon titi. <laughs> I embrace the compliment. Thank you, Mr. Jack. <laughs> yeah, so, so now, I mean, if you look on our right-hand side here, mm -hmm. this is where the clubhouse is going to be. That's right. And what we've just done temporarily, we've got a well here and a tank uh, that people are using for construction. So that's why you have it here. But the proper borehole will be built uphill with a tank and also water reticulation done. But I'm glad, Anita, that um, uh, even trees like this we're saving. Yes, we are. You see? You see, even if we find tree li trees like this, we don't cut them. We leave it here and make sure the design goes around them. You know, because this tree here probably is taking what? two years or so to be at this level, so why why should you cut it? So we don't cut these trees, look at it. all these are saved. And, and once the, we get the borehole in, we have proper running supply, you can yes. imagine what it's going to look like. Yeah, but even when the rain starts here, That's right? In a few months, you know, here he, he, it rains a lot. Not as much as Port Harcourt now, right? No, 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 you know, Port Harcourt has already started. I mean, uh, Port Harcourt. Oh, it started? Yes, Port Harcourt, out of 365 days, on average, it rains 300 days in the year. That's worse than the UK. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and when it really rains, it's heavy rains, you know. And that's, that's rivers, you know, in the southern part of, of, of Nigeria. But I love this. I mean, here also, anybody who wants to keep fit on site, you will really enjoy it. You will really be fit because it goes uphill. The gradient is quite steep in certain areas. But the big advantage it has is that, you know, nice landscaping, you know, nice landscape, nice setting. It's just lovely. I, I just love it here. I have a quick question for you. You mentioned the gradient. 
your last live video in Gambia, we saw you cycling with a gimbal in one hand. Will you be doing that here? Ah, uh, it'll be difficult. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot be going uphill, you know, with a camera. <laughs> <laughs> this is quite steep, huh? Well, it's the next challenge. Yeah. Active it, retiree, I'm sure you wow, can do it. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> you know what I enjoy here? Every time I walk with, with, with a guest, you know, and they follow me on the hill, going uphill. You know, you hear them the way they breathe. <sighs> but you know, I mean, it's a good way to keep fit. <laughs> really nice. I love it here. I love it. And you know, from every point, for example, now, just look on your left, what do you see? Mm -hmm. You see all these houses here? But look at the greenery, huh? It's beautiful. And uh, the minister, when he was here the last time, said that, you know, they're going to enact a law, this area here, that nobody touches the landscape. So that's going to be kept. So that's guaranteed for our customers. Yes, but yes. The views you're seeing here will remain the same. Yeah, and look, now standing on the road here, uh, look at the ocean. You know, beautiful ocean view. We get a lot of questions about that. So, I mean, for some of our customers, yeah. so there are some guaranteed ocean views, and that's if you're buying now. Yeah. Because, you know, they might not be available. So, reserve today, secure your ocean view, or your beautiful mountain view. Yeah, yeah, lovely, lovely. I love it here. On that note, the next update is the houses. Yeah, I Should think we need to now go and have a look at the houses, because um, we want to show our clients uh, that we have options now. That's right. And the options are, we're selling semi-finished, based on demand, you know, just like the way we're doing in Nigeria, and now started in the Gambia. You know, we're going to do it in Sierra Leone. So you have a choice. Reason is we don't make it more affordable. So you can buy the house, everything done, you will enjoy the whole landscape, the services, the security, everything that it comes with. But we will have the house semi-finished, meaning all the structure done, we put a roof, put all the walls. And then when you come in, you can now finish it up yourself. So we'll show you um, one of the houses, which is the Saleh. Uh, we've already put the roof and the, the structure has been done and that's the way uh, we sell a, a, a semi-finished house now the finished house meaning everything will be done finished so follow me let's go now and just check these uh, units here okay stay tuned